she hey, is. Hey, come here. Has the stream started? Yeah, but it started. It's literally it's just five seconds on. Do they hear me singing that? No. Yeah. But we know I'm joking around. I know. Love you. Love you too. Let's play some Pikmin. Is the webcam on? <laughs> yes, love that sound. Hey, you don't have yet. Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry for that rough intro. Okay, just wanna wait a second, wait for people to get in, then we can really do the intro. It's gonna be pretty good. This is going to be on the recording and people are... Hello, Laura. Just be glad I'm not stealing your TV, but yeah. Eddie gets here, we start. Yep, there will not be a. <laughs> there are not. Nope. Actually, screw it. I'll let you guys see my face. Okay, Eddie's here so the stream can begin in earnest. Hi everyone, I am in Massachusetts at my boyfriend's house. My boyfriend has a Wii U. So, since my boyfriend has a Wii U, and I really enjoyed playing Pikmin 3, especially with him. Yeah, it's kinda hard, but there's my Pikmin. And I've also got the Pikmin I got for him. <laughs> I'm sorry. This lighting is a bit annoying. But yeah. So I'm going to just cut to the chase. I paid him $40 to get a, a very certain Wii re since the eShop's closing down. A very certain re-release of a certain GameCube game that was released in the year 2000. And that game... I'm sorry, I'm not very good at using the Wii Remote. Especially since it's at a very low angle. And that game is Pikmin. This is going to be a really special stream. This is my first time ever playing the original Pikmin. So, yeah. Pikmin! It's coming, it's coming. Where's that blessed noise? So, yeah. I love that noise. We're playing Pikmin! By the way, I was wrong. It's released in 2001, not 2000. But yeah, let's take it all in. We're gonna play this absolute classic of a game, which I just, I just fell in love with Pikmin 3 so hard. 
but we're gonna play Pikmin. Oh my god, I'm so excited. A Pikmin save file has been created. It's locking me into file one. So let's, let's, what's our buddy Olimar up to? There it is, the SS Dolphin. Here he is, Olimar. So yeah, this is gonna be one of the bad audio quality streams since there's a lot of moving around, and I can't really do it with that with headphones. Oh no! It got meteored by one of those st star things from Animal Crossing. And he's crashing down to the planet PNF 404. I know it's not called PNF 404 in this game, but I like calling it PNF 404 because it is PNF 404. Even though this is what was before it was named PNF 404, it's PNF 404. The impact site. And our hero is knocked out. Hi, Olimar. My name is, my name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out, and I awoke on the surface of a weird planet. With so many parts lost, the skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate that this planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days. Until my life... If I can't repair the dolphin by then... No! Better not think to think about it. I must find the missing ship parts before my life... Su before my life support runs out and I... Fucking die! Leaving my wife a widow and my children fatherless. This is a Nintendo game! I'm sorry, I had to get that... Get that out. By the way, you guys should all watch Schaeferless's video about Pikmin. And how good Pikmin is. I'm gonna link it in the chat. It this it was one of the big factors of getting me into Pikmin. The other one being my boyfriend. The well, it's the, the minor one. The big one is my boyfriend got Pikmin for Christmas, and I absolutely loved it. So yeah, watch that video if you dare. It's really good. Hello, Olimar. How do you move him? Not like my first, not like the whole setup to this stream was terrible enough. Now I literally cannot move Olimar. I should have watched the tutorial. Try a new nunchuck. This nunchucks are <laughs> this, this stream whole stream has been a disaster so far. I, I love it. Okay, now this nunchuck works a lot better. But it has the caveat of being extremely painful to use. 
let's try a different nunchuck. Something that, a nunchuck that, you know, isn't, oh, shit. So this one is functional, but is also painful. So this last one does the trick. Perfect. So yeah, now we you get to see me screw around in Pikmin because we don't really have have time to like to test out the controls beforehand. No, I meant afterwards. Wait, how do you how do you do the camera? I wish there were like nice little co-pad tutorials. Show me how to like, you know, change the camera angle. Oh, it's Z. It's really helpful. What's this? So yeah, I'm sorry we were up to a rough start. It was even rougher behind the scenes. What is this? A strange thing had appeared before me. I had barely begun my search when it reared up as if, if it were waiting for me. It then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion. I shall call this an onion too. What is this? The seed that the onion dropped took root in the soil and has now produced an adorable little sprout. The sprout emits a strange light and it sways back and forth without benefit of wind. I cannot help but think that it is calling to me. I am compelled. I must approach it and press the A button. Ordinary. When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature, not a plant. Picking it has done no visible damage. It just stands there, staring at me. Its shape is similar to the Pick Pick brand carrots I love so much. I believe I shall call it a Pikmin. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive. And yet, I am intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I shall try to grab it with A, then throw it in the direction I point. And I will call to it, call it to my side with B. Hmm. Perhaps it will react to C and pressing down on the control pad while pointing as well. The following controls appear to allow me several viewpoints. Z to rotate the camera behind Olimar. Left and right to zoom. Up to change perspective. I must survive. I need to familiar my, familiarize myself with these controls in my surroundings. So yeah, this Pikmin is called Steve, probably. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very much used to like the Pikmin three, so. Hello, Steve. I mean, I've never watched Joker Conroy's videos, but Shaferla said it in his. What does this Pikmin think of me? I must observe its reactions. The more things I try, the more reactions I can catalog. I shall attempt to grab and throw it with A and call it to my side with B. Perhaps it will react to C in pressing down on the control pad while pointing as well. Hmm. 
Yeah, obviously this, the, five. So, Steve, Stefa Stephanos, um, Steven, Steven Universe, Steve Fuller from the Chicago Bears. Yeah, he's named, yeah, he, he's gonna be, this, this one red Pikmin is gonna be Steve Fuller from the Chicago Bears. The Bears. Astonishing, the onion has so shown more seeds. The small red pellet the Pikmin harvested after cutting down a flower appears to be some type of food that pro can propagate more Pikmin. What? Ding dong. What? What is this? DoorDash? Special delivery! It was actually from DoorDash, probably enough. Oh. Well, look at this curious... Look at this curious discovery. What is it? It's a nunchuck for the Wii! I mean, I don't need it. I've got a perfectly functioning nunchuck right here, but it's good to have a nunchuck that isn't, like, that, like, is that the control stick actually works and it's not extremely painful to, to, to move around. And we also got it for $6. That's pretty cool. Okay. The small red pellet the Pikmin harvested after cutting down a flower appears to be some type of food that can propagate more Pikmin. The onion seems to be a sort of incubator. Needless to say, I must study this strange life form more. Yep, Olimar's getting the Commander Kamado voice. <laughs> yeah. Why does why does Steve all Steve Fuller from the Chicago Bears always? Honestly, part of me, it's just weird not having lock on anymore. Since that was like such a big thing in Pikmin 3. These controls are... Okay, um, the original Pikmin 3 is better because, you know... Like, yeah, I'm used to the controls of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Because, like, you can just lock on and you, you can't really do this on the Wii. I mean, you could. But it would be a little inconvenient, don't you know? <laughs> like, yeah, I know how to play Pikmin. This... Don't let this video deceive you. Like, it's kind of obvious that to, like, seasoned Pikmin players and the such... That my obvious, my first experience was very much Pikmin 3 Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch. I wish there was a better button to, to pluck. Like, I mean, on the Switch, you, you just pluck them automatically. It does take a little bit. Oh god, I'm- I'm gonna- I'm not gonna finish this ship before Olimar dies, am I? So satisfying, once again.
and also incredibly long. The Pikmin are as curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an in individual. A glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix up my ship. I shall sum up all I've learned of Pikmin conduct. Approach and press A to pick sprouts. Press A to grab Pikmin. Release to throw. Press B to call them. C to dismiss. Press down on the control pad and point to command and control the group. Use Z and up and left and right on the control pad to control perspective. I shall record this in my computer and access it with the plus button. Yeah, do you have honey mustard? Oh, so you're not supposed to... There's probably gonna be like a bulb orb or something. Oh, slap me silly, there wasn't one. What, there were actually more Pikmin in the squad? Okay, so yeah, I'll just take it plain, I guess. Do you want to give me a paper towel? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I guess we'll have to eat this chicken sandwich live on stream. So, I am terrible at Pikmin. I mean, I'm actually pretty good. Like, I mean, you've seen my Pikmin 3 Deluxe streams. It's just that this is such a strange control stream. <laughs> What's it like? You like it? Uh, wait. What, what? Do you like it? Wait, what are you... What's the it you're <laughs> referring to? The controls. The controls I much prefer Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Makes sense. Like, yeah, Pikmin, Pikmin 3 Deluxe came out less than two years ago. This is a re-release of a game that came out 2009 was, like, 12 years ago. And that's that in itself is a re-release of a game that came eight years before that. And this is on really outdated hardware and, like, Wii, Wii remotes and stuff that are pretty old. I'm turning into a freaking muckbanger. Just a sandwich, though. I ain't hurting anyone. There is no mistaking it. My ship's engine rests before my very eyes. By a stroke of pure luck, I have already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me. But, how will I get it back to the dolphin? It's easy. Pikmin. When many Pikmin seeds sprout at once, I find it rather tedious to press them from the ground individually. My wife always told me I was no good at routine tasks. I guess I'll try to get it all done at once by repeatedly tapping A until I pick all the Pikmin from the ground. I've noticed that when I add Pikmin to my group, they become filled with excitement and flush with bright color. At other times, they refer to a paler hue and give off a dim glow. Playing close attention to these differences is bound to help me distinguish between Pikmin. Like, yeah, Pikmin 3 Deluxe doesn't really do this. Mm -hmm. 
It's nice to see that even after all these years, the Pikmin AI is still incredibly stupid. I love it. Chilling out right here. these Pikmin, I've taken a huge step back towards home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become of the remaining seeds? That search starts tomorrow. And now, time for the best music in the game. One day since impact. I have somehow managed to launch the dolphin, but I was surprised to see the onion lift off without me. With me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface. Or have they merely decided to join me for other reasons? Either way, it seems that they will help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I cannot recover them all, I may never return home to my family on planet Hockey Analysis shows life support systems will function for only 29 more days. How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? A dense forest is visible on the surface below. As it holds the keys to my survival, I'll name it the Forest of Hope. I will explore it tomorrow. Yeah. It was originally in the first Pikmin. They just rem They basically just remixed most of it for Pikmin 3. But yeah, we we really we really need a remake of the first two Pikmin games for the Switch. But with like 
Pikmin 3's engine. Because this is a really good game. My dolphin has returned to the surface along with the Pikmin's onion. Being alone on this strange planet makes me somewhat uneasy, so I shall call the Pikmin out of the onion. All I need to do is stand in the light beneath the onion and press A. young Pikmin. I, or you could just tra or you can just travel to the planet PNF 404 and dig up random treasures, like a maternal sculpture or a nutrient silo. Yeah, I think I'm. It. That's a. That's a bait. That's a babe orb. A baby bulb orb. Guys! Hurry up! Thank you! down. You were a good soldier. Because we're obviously going to have to lose some Pikmin. They'll die in battle. They'll, they'll go to Pikmin Hala. As Pikmin always do. Don't wake the bulb orb! Don't get crushed by the bottle cap either. That is another very stupid idea. You know what I... Wait, no! Wrong! You're the wrong color! I don't mean to sound racist, but it's true. Yellow ones for yellow Pikmin. Okay, boys. Why do I just always refer to every Pikmin as male? Okay, boys. Got a, got another assignment coming up. Why, it's the Eternal Fuel Dynamo. 
It has an unlimited energy supply. I won't have to worry about saving electricity anymore. This will make my fight for survival a bit easier. Yep, that's a lot of Pikmin down. You know what I also really suck at? Aiming! Okay, so you have to aim at the bulb orbs. Right at where the bulb orb is. Okay, now that all my Pikmin fucking died, let's rebuild. Like, here's the thing about Pikmin. Okay, this game, I, I, I can tell you how to do everything. I know exactly what I gotta do. My problem is the controls. I wouldn't say they're janky, like, but they're... But they're obvious, but they're from a different time, you know? When we all were kids. When we all were younger. When stuff made sense. Wait, how do you get the pick Pikmin's- Oh. My clock has indicated that the coming of noon. From now on, I must pay close attention to the sun meter on my monitor and choose my actions accordingly. So, it is best for me to review my monitor's data. FB slash JB. Facebook and Julian Brandt. <laughs> I love John Boyce. By the way, guys, you should everyone should check out John Boyce's new documentary about Dave Steve. It just released yesterday. It's amazing as everything he pulls puts out is. And yeah, highly recommend. Okay, so let's get back to Olimar. Across the top of my monitor are the sun meter and day display. At the bottom are my spacesuit damage meter and Pikmin gauges. From the left. These numbers reflect Pikmin under my command, Pikmin in the field, and total Pikmin, including those in onions. To adjust my monitor, I can press Z to adjust the camera, left or right on the control pad to zoom, and up on the control pad to change the viewpoint. I can also press plus to view a detailed computer analysis. Yeah, I guess. Wait, we we have to wait wait like a little second for the Pikmin's to mature. So 
so basically, we have, we're on a good pace if we get one, so basically, the goal is to get one ship part per day. And it looks like we're on pace to do just that. Great job, boys. Yeah, I don't know exactly how charging works. I'm not quite sure. Thanks, you two. I wanna also get continuing on this. Oh, look at this! We got a ship part in! Eternal Fuel Dynamo! This should light things up. No more candles for me! I have now recovered two out of 30 parts. If I can find you three more, I should be able to, can, able to increase my ship's capabilities. Yeah, by the way, guys, I'm going for 100%. I'm gonna get all of these. I'm gonna try to get every single one of the... I don't see it. It might be, but I, I think you should check. Pikmin, the original Pikmin, Pikmin 3 Deluxe does, is it gives you smaller numbers of Pikmin to work with. L no, what I meant, the fruits, like, usually take a lot less than the treasures and ship parts. Hello, Yellow Pikmin. Like, I mean, in Pikmin 2, there's basically something that has a weight value of 1,000. The color is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First glance suggests that this one has what, in some circles, could be considered very large ears. It looks like it may weigh less than the others. In what other ways might it be different than the red Pikmin? I must be sure to observe it closely. I can hold a Pikmin for a moment with A, then swap it for another by pressing B. Wrong color!
My clock is indicating as the approach of sunset. Pikmin waiting beneath the dolphin and onions will probably enter the onions on their own. But if I don't call the stragglers and add them to my group, they may not be able to get back. I am sure that the Pikmin still planted are safe, but I am somewhat concerned about leaving Pikmin to fend for themselves in the darkness. We make it back. We did it all in one piece, guys. No! No! I can't believe I had that happen to me. Just clear my mind. Two days since impact. It appears that many of my ship's parts have landed in this region. I can just recover the parts of radar. I should be able to use my radar screen. How that would improve my chances. Then I'd only have to press plus to locate my parts. Yet, there seems to be many hostile, hostile life forms here. If I am attacked and my spacesuit takes damage, I must return to my ship. Stand in front of it and press A to make suit repairs. As I explore, I must pay attention to my suit's damage meter in the bottom left corner of the screen. I think... Yeah. 34 go to Pikmin Hala and I basically killed one. Why the hell do they have to make switching between Pikmin so hard? If, if that wasn't the case, I probably would have done a lot more. I have recovered two out of 30 ship parts. Just, well, yeah, we, we've already gotten to this part.
fellow Pikmin have picked up some peculiar stones. Why did they decide to grab them? This action seems to be instinctive to these yellow Pikmin. This is not the case of Pikmin 3 Deluxe! Just wanna let you know, this is not the case. But just what are those strange glowing stones? Brightly growing cracks cover them. Perhaps these cracks indicate that there's tremendous power locked away within. This merits further research. The glowing rocks the yellow Pikmin picked up seem to be explosive stones. Perhaps they know that these stones can be used as powerful weapons. The bomb rocks are dangerous, so I must take care when using them. But they should be able to blast open the stone walls that block the pathways. I may be even be able to use them against some of the wild creatures. I must be vigilant. When I throw bomb rock carrying Pikmin and give them orders, they will toss their bomb rock their nearby walls or obstacles. The explosive powers of the bomb rocks is tremendous, so I must keep my distance. Got that. Okay, let's get some more Pikmin. Oh crap, it's that guy. Another intriguing discovery. Um, yes, just, I know exactly what Pikmin Nectar does. It basically powers up your Pikmin.
But honestly, that's not really neither here nor there at the moment. I've been talking too much. I've been it's on the Pikmin. I have made yet another Pikmin related discovery, just when I was about to exceed 100 Pikmin in the field. The onion stopped expelling seeds, yet the total number of Pikmin continued to climb. It seems that once there are 100 Pikmin in the field, subsequent seeds get stored inside the onion. Thus, no more than 100 Pikmin can be in the field at one time in any area.
It's my whimsical radar. With this, I'll be able to see all nearby ship parts in a single glance. I just press plus to check it. This fine fills me with great hope. We have enough time to do all this. Looks like we've we've got it. Whimsical radar. This important part can detect the locations of the other missing parts. This radar will be added to my monitor, which I can press plus to view. Up or down on the control pad zooms in and out. This will surely help me in my search for the remaining parts. I have now recovered 3 out of 30 parts. If I can find just two more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Three days since impact. I now add yellow Pikmin to my list of discoveries. These creatures can wield bomb rocks, so perhaps I can use them to blast down rock walls and open up new regions. Red and yellow Pikmin, as well as bomb rock carriers, break into squads when dismissed with the C button. If I grab one for a moment by holding A, I can swatch Pikmin by then pressing B. Why does it have to be so hard? Literally, it's inconvenient. It probably was a lot easier on the GameCube version. No, oh, I left Pikmin behind. <sighs> what can you do? Can't save everyone. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's just that the whole, like, calling Pikmin part is just... It's quite annoying.
Okay. First things first. Let's get this. out of me, you idiot.
doesn't get any easier when, when they die. It never does. Find if there's a what we need to find another bomb rock. If we don't find another bomb rock, we're not going to get the ship part today, and we will be behind schedule. schedule. All because of a stupid bomb rock. You know how in Legends Arceus they say Pokemon are terrifying creatures? Pikmin are terrifyingly stupid creatures. Blaster. This. Well, yeah, everyone knows about like the Nova Blaster. People are like, "Oh, Olimar should have gotten the Nova Blaster. Then it would have. Then he wouldn't have like got stranded on PNF 404." Nova Blaster. This is a weapon of such incredible destructive force that it can bless stars in these tiny places. It has a strange allure. just need to 
to get the last one. And I think we can, we're going to be ahead of schedule. This is awesome. This incredible spool because the salesman told me it is of extraordinary quality that is indiscernible to the average person. Exactly what makes it so extraordinary is a secret. But just look at it. Extraordinary. Okay, we need to get 30 more on it. I have now recovered 4 out of 30 parts. One more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. We've got one more to do. Well, boys, we gotta hurry. I'll be able to make it. I'll be able to make it. Oh no. Told you I was gonna make it. This bolt holds the kind of value that only a true connoisseur can understand. So yeah, I proved you wrong. Five out of 30 parts, increasing the dolphin's capabilities. My search can now cover a wider area. Let's go. I'm sorry I went out of character. I was just so happy to prove Eddie wrong. <laughs> yes. All this day, I'm like, oh, fuck, we're gonna be behind schedule. But at the end of the day, now we're ahead of it. So happy. But yeah, I proved you wrong. No, I think you just lost the time. I don't think I did. I think you just lost the yellows. Hmm. Four days. The Pikmin that I did not bring back to the Onion all vanished overnight. It may well, but they have fallen prey to the planet's nocturnal creatures. An ugly thought. Perhaps that is why they follow me into the atmosphere. I am starting to grasp the cycles of life on this planet. It was only five. And yeah, a lot of reason why I'm I, I why I'm losing a ton of pick, Pikmin overnight is because yeah, I guess she doesn't know that. 
doesn't have a lot of the quality of life. Hey, Allie. The Pikmin 3 has. You're fixing our water bottle, huh? I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I am just being turning into an absolute idiot. No, you're not. Right. Hey, I, I want to get my buddy. Huh. Okay, before we go to the next, before we go to the next day, I just need to tell you about some of the stupid things I did earlier. Well, so basically, the Wii U was upstairs, so I moved it into another upstairs room to try and stream, but the HDMIs were all, like, screwed up, so I just... Just getting super annoyed trying to put the HDMI into the Wii U, trying to connect that to the TV. So we decided to move downstairs because like, oh, that's the easiest. So we connected the Wii U to my computer. Like the signal was coming like fine from the computer and we're like, why is the HDMI showing? Well, apparently the HDMI that I thought was connected like to my to the um, TV to get the output, it was connected to the switch all along. Here is, like as you can see, the switch is on, I think, the right of the TV. On the left you can see, like my, well that's my boyfriend's switch. Left you can see the capture card. Here's my computer. You can see the stream right now. It's not very clear, but it's there. There's the Wii U. There's the cords. There's a purple Pikmin. No, it's right there. Here's the blue Pikmin. They love each other. Like me and my boyfriend. Oh, uh, yeah, I was using the wrong HDMI. Like an idiot. Guess I, I learned an important lesson today. Always choose the right HDMI's. I'm not surprised. It's HDMI cords are weird. Have to deal deal with them all the time now. Old purple Pikmin gentle like hamburger. Anyways. I'm, I'm just really glad I was able to, like, be ahead of schedule today. Got four more parts to go! I don't want to go to the forest naval. Or the impact site. We're gonna just do Forest of Hope for now. Because we need to rescue the blue Pikmin.
Okay. Let's scout. Yeah, I think that one is for, for the blue Pikmin. Why does it have a four on screen? Anyways. I think we need to go this way. Oh, it's a bulb orb. I think our best, my best bet is to like, go to where we were earlier. First we need to pick up some more bomb rocks. Form this guy. We need to find blue Pikmin, it seems.
Oh no. Yeah, my, my computer stopped charging. It's never a good sign. the hell would the blue onion be? I guess that Pikmin's not making it.
Why did I think that would be a good idea? So stupid. I don't know if they have Pikmin 3. I'm an idiot. I am an absolute idiot. I'm stupid, 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 stupid! So you know what? We're not gonna be stupid anymore! We're gonna be smart! I'm sorry for yelling. But still, no more stupid, no more stupid, no more negative face. I'm sorry for the stupidity, guys. We're gonna do day five all over again. Cause yeah, blue Pikmin weren't in there. Gotta look for, the blue Pikmin are in here. So yeah, I just kind of like wasted a lot of your time, guys. I'm I'm really sorry. Yeah, my charger for my my computer doesn't seem to be holding up well. Okay. We're gonna need some help from a different type of Pikmin, guys.
Here it comes! of yet another color. Near this one's cheeks are what appears to be a set of gills. This trait suggests to me that the blue type of Pikmin can enter the water without any trouble whatsoever. There's only one way to find out. I will use A to hold one and press B to swap it out and issue it my commands. Automatic gear. It has thin cracks running through it. I tried to fill it with dirt. I hope it will be alright. I have now recovered 6 out of 30 parts. We're still ahead of schedule. Pikmin 3. For whatever reason. Okay, let's check on, see how the blues are doing.
Yeah, we're going to need to get back to the onion. See what we can do. Because we have a bit of a Pikmin issue here. Keep on rushing it! Like these Pikmin, like those things only give five Pikmin. Oh crap.
I've recovered six of Well, confirming this chip status, I have taken the opportunity to repair my space suit. It's good. Yeah, a lot has happened since, like, last Pokemon Presents. I love Quaxley. It's... I, I, I was actually... I didn't want a Gen 9 at first, but actually seeing what they have in store... It actually looks amazing, and I can't wait. I'm... I love Quaxley, by the way. Quaxley is the best. Quaxley is best starter. Okay, if I... If I can do this... I feel like a terrible person. As I should, I let all those Pikmin die. Five days since impact. Deep in the cave I discovered in the forest, I encountered blue Pikmin. These blue fellows have something resembling gills on their cheeks, and they appear to be amphibious, surviving both on water and in land. The wonders of nature's never cease to sung me, even in this alien land. Oh, 12! This wasn't as much pain as I was expecting, but... I want to do, like, a day or two more. Yeah, but there's just been a lot of technical difficulties.
that was stupid. This Pikmin forgot how to walk up ledges. The singular blue Pikmin strikes again. We need to find bomb rock. Like Pronto. that are carrying our spoils seem to be milling about in one place with their loads. It appears that they're passed back to the onion this block and faced with it seems to be an insurmountable obstacle. They have lost their focus. This is unacceptable. I will have to determine what is blocking their way and do what I can to resolve the problem. Thank <laughs> you. 
So that's a bread bug. Why won't you die? This float is an absolute necessity. <laughs> For any pilot who lacks skill at swimming in space. my number one Nionium jet. Unfortunately, this puts out a slightly odiferous exhaust, but it does propel me to escape velocity in an instant. The stench is a small place to play for such performance. Yeah, we're going to be wrapping up after this set, unfortunately.
basically all died because of my stupidity. How fun. How quaint. So yeah, I'm setting it up for tomorrow so we can get the bomber up. Dill bite of 87. Well, I really suggest if you're enjoying this, I really suggest you follow. But we're we're gonna be like wrapping up soon, but unfortunately. Get them up there. Thanks for following. I really appreciate it. so many Pikmin today.
Six days since impact. I have seen that, at times, the leaves on top of Pikmin's head will grow into a bud and then a flower. It appears that if I do not pick the Pikmin sprouts, they will gradually bloom over time. Fascinating! The melding of plant and animal traits is surely unique in the natural world. I have found flower Pikmin to possess increased swiftness. When in a rush, I found pressing and holding A, then calling the flower Pikmin forth with the control pad to be quite an effective strategy. I've also learned that new sprouts found growing on days following fierce battles are the results of seeds being left behind. So, yeah. Really stinks that I have to end, but I've got places to be. I hope you, everyone enjoyed the stream. We'll be back tomorrow, I guess, if I don't have anything else to do. See you later, alligators.